pizza? I like pizza. Pizza is about the best way I can explain what driving this Volkswagen Golf R is like. Even when it's bad, it's good. Now, I attended the launch of the Volkswagen Golf R, the new one, in uh, the early part of last year. And at that time, they had only offered us the 218 kilowatt version. There was a high spec version, but uh, Volkswagen in Germany had deemed us to be a hot weather climate and therefore would not give us the higher performing engine. Cut forward a few months and Germany has changed their minds and they've now given us the 228 kilowatt version of this car. So it's still powered by a 2 litre 4 cylinder turbocharged engine and it now puts out 228 kilowatts as stated. But it's not only the power bump that Volkswagen has given us, they've now decided to shave a little bit of weight off of the car. And to do that, they've given us some new trimmings. So one of the first things they did was give us some carbon fiber wing mirrors. Very, very stylish. Then they took a look at the brake package. They've given us a new brake package, shaved about two and a half kilograms off by replacing all the metal bits with aluminium. And then of course there's the piece de resistance, which is the piece that everybody has been talking about. And that is shaving seven and a half kilograms off the bottom of the car by giving us a acropovic exhaust system. And that adds an already menacing growl to the very famous sound that this car makes. Driving the Golf R really is a pleasure. You see, it does everything really well. It doesn't do anything bad. It just checks all the boxes. It really is a pleasure to drive. And with all of the optional extras that you now get on the interior, things like the Nappa leather seats and the Discover Pro audio system, and then of course the big 12 inch digital screen that you get here in the driver's binnacle, which gives you all your driver readouts, it really just does add that little bit extra to the car. Which brings me to my bugbear, and that is the Golf was always supposed to be the affordable family car, the one that you know, you buy when you don't really want the big sedan or the small hatchback. It's sort of middle of the ground. What has now happened is the Golf has gotten really expensive and it's sort of lost touch with what it used to be. That punchy little hatchback. Now the R does come with an optional extra. Uh, it's one of my personal favorites and that's the, uh, the driving modes, the adaptive driving control system. So you get eco, there's individual, there's race mode, there's comfort. Now if you drive it in eco, you can uh, play a little game on the uh, Discover Pro Media Center, try and help you save fuel. And then if you're uh, not really cared about saving fuel, you can flip it into race mode and then you have a lap timer which sort of lends credence to the fact that this is a performance vehicle and is meant to be used as such. But there is going to be a small takeaway from that and we'll get to that in a second. Now I'm going to be very honest with you. I haven't exactly been driving the R slowly, but I have been trying to be frugal at best driving in eco mode whenever I can only optioning onto the race mode when wanting to get that sound that everybody likes so much I will say this though the R is very thirsty we have averaged roughly 15 to 18 liters per kilometer which means that the petrol bill on this particular vehicle is going to be very steep but if you're buying a GTI, you're not buying it for its fuel economy, so let's be honest. This Volkswagen Golf R, base price 676,900 Rand. And that's before you've added on the extras like the carbon fiber, the weight saving pack and the acropovic exhaust. It does get really, really pricey. And then there's the weight issue. Now I know that Volkswagen has added all these optional extras to shave off weight. But this is still heavier than a GTI, and that's because of the four motion system. Uh, that's the all wheel drive system that they've now employed for the Golf R. 
does it make the car better? Yes. But if you had to pull up next to a GTI at the robots, and let's be honest, this does happen, he's going to leave you in the dust because of the weight of the all-wheel drive system that has to pull this car along. Now, as I said before, the hierarchy is GTI, Club Sport, Golf R. But I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'd be happier driving a Club Sport. And to be perfectly honest with you, I think it's slightly better than the Golf R but to each their own. And like I said, it's just like a pizza. It's good even when it's not great. I'm actually kind of hungry now. <laughs>